Getting into model railroading can sometimes be daunting. What size or gauge do I want to model in? How much space do I need? How hard is it to get started? Fortunately, MTH Electric Trains makes it easy to get started with any of our Rail King O-Gauge ready-to-run starter sets. Available in both steam and diesel models, every Rail King ready-to-run set comes complete with a 51 by 31 inch oval of track, a powerful locomotive equipped with digital sound and LED operating lights, durable freight or passenger cars featuring heavy duty all metal trucks and operating couplers, a powerful 50 watt transformer and a DCS Explorer track interface unit that allows you to operate the set with any compatible Android or Apple phone or tablet. This video will detail how to assemble the track download the free app from Google Play or the Apple App Store, install and configure the app, and begin running your new train set. We've even included a DVD with track planning software for those who want to immediately begin expanding their set. Everything is carefully packaged and assembly is quick and straightforward, clearly spelled out in the operator's manual accompanying your set. The only thing you'll need that's not included is a pair of pliers and a pair of scissors or knife to open up the track packaging. Real Tracks is simply the easiest O-Gauge track system ever manufactured, featuring durable metal rails strong enough to stand on, and a built-in roadbed for a realistic appearance ensures that a Real Tracks layout will last for years while sporting a realistic appearance not found in other O-Gauge track systems. Assembly is easy and will only take a few minutes. Because of the built-in roadbed, the track doesn't need to be fastened to a surface. In fact, it can go straight down on carpet and be taken up afterwards. Each section of track features built-in electrical and fastening connectors. No track pins or rail joiners are needed. Simply slide each section of track together at a slight angle. Trying to push the track together on a level plane is virtually impossible. Power is applied to the track from the DCS Explorer through the track lock-on. The lock-on snaps into any track section once the track knockout has been removed. To remove the knockout, grab it with a pair of pliers and wiggle it back and forth until it snaps out. Once the knockout has been removed, the lock-on slides into the knockout space and snaps into place, making firm contact with the built-in electrical terminals on the underside of the track. Now that track assembly is understood, Assembling the eight sections of curved and four sections of straights can begin. In this configuration, two sections of straights are used on each side of the oval to create a 51 by 31 inch track design. The same track components could be changed so that the design measures 41 by 41 inches by alternating a straight section between every two curved sections. Such a configuration might be preferable around a Christmas tree. With track assembly completed, use the black and red wire harness that came with your set to connect the lock-on to the DCS Explorer. The male red and black bayonet harness ends connect to their corresponding red and black female ports on the lock-on and DCS Explorer. Plug the barrel jack of the 50 watt power supply into the female power port, marked power in of the DCS Explorer. But wait to plug in the power supply to a standard wall outlet until after the locomotive and cars are placed on the track. If the track is powered up before the locomotive and cars are placed on the track, you could have a short circuit. After the locomotive and cars are placed on the track, plug the power supply into a standard wall outlet. The DCS Explorer will begin booting up. It takes about 30 seconds, and once the green power on, blue Wi-Fi, and purple track LEDs are lit, you can begin running trains. Before you can begin running trains, you'll need to set up the DCS Explorer. To do so, you'll need to get the app. It's free and available from either Google Play or the Apple App Store. Go to either store and click in the search bar using MTH keywords MTH DCS. The search results will return an MTH icon. Click on that and then click on the install button that shows up on the screen. If any requests come up, click on those to accept them and wait for the installation process to conclude. 
but don't open the app. We'll be opening it later after we've done some other things. Now that the app has been installed on your phone or tablet, we need to connect it to the DCS Explorer via Wi-Fi. To do so, go to Settings, tap on Connections, and tap on Wi-Fi. From the list of Wi-Fi sources, choose the one that starts with MTHDCS. Enter the password, MTHDCS Wi-Fi, all one word, all lowercase. Now your phone or tablet is connected to the DCS Explorer. Now it's time to open the app by clicking on Open in Google Play or the App Store, or by clicking on the DCS app icon on your smart device. Tap on Run My Trains and then choose DCS Explorer to configure the app for use with the device. Tap on Proceed to App and then tap on Run My Trains one more time to bring up the main engine screen. Next, we can add an engine and begin running trains. Before you can run engines, they have to be added into the app. Tap Choose or Add an Engine at the top of the screen. Tap Add Engine on the next screen, then tap Add MTH Engine. MTH engines self-report directly to the DCS Explorer, so there is nothing to remember on your part. Tap the engine name when it appears, and then tap Run Engine to make it active. Now we're ready to run. Tap the green Start button to activate the engine's sounds and lights. Tap and hold the Horn button. Release it to turn off the horn. Holding it longer will play different horn endings. Tap the Bell button to turn on the bell. Tap again to silence. Tap the plus button to begin increasing speed. Tapping on the minus button will reduce speed by one scale mile per hour. You can also tap a number on the speedometer bezel and the engine will go straight to that speed. Finally, grab and drag the speedometer needle to increase or decrease engine speed. You'll find full instructions on using the app in the owner's manual. Have fun!